<clears throat> Good morning, dear subscribers. First of all, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Oleg. I'm, uh, as I think, uh, a kind of skilled trader in the foreign exchange. I've studied my experience of more than 20 years. Excuse me. And uh, first of all, I started as a simple trader at one of the East European bank in. Uh, it was, as I remember, 19, 1997, yes, 97. And uh, as its experience of more than 20 years, I was uh, promoted from the position of simple trader to the position of the head of the foreign exchange at the bank. Um, in 2016, uh, let's say even 2015, 2016, uh, the bank uh, unfortunately was uh, shut it down and uh, now I am a let's say a free kind of uh, person trading for myself uh, in 2016 I organized a small company uh, with the name of uh, Intellectual Forex uh, which providing a kind of uh, technical analysis research for different uh, kind of people uh, in the foreign exchange. Uh, so uh, now I decided to, to move a kind uh, to move my uh, uh, kind of business also to the YouTube YouTube channel. And uh, today I just started. So uh, first of all, uh, let me excuse me for my English for the English speaking audience because I'm a mostly Russian speak speaking. Uh, and uh, in the future I will be absolutely open to any uh, kind of questions regarding uh, my uh, kind of research and uh, if you have any of them you can ask me here on the um, on the site or you can also find me um, on the Facebook on my page with the link uh, I will put um, below the uh, below the uh, this kind of analysis you can find me uh, some later so uh, let me acquaint you with my kind of analysis um, during the past two years uh, the results was for example in 2017 uh, you can see uh, here here is um, uh, a PL statement for 2017 of my business in um, between the 11 currency pairs I'm uh, trading at the moment. And the main goal of my business is of course uh, for you to make to be in profit. Um, I'd like to precaution you. If you really will follow my advice, uh, but we will not trade in all of these currency pairs. You can be unlucky. I will explain you why. This depending. Of course, you can uh, choose one pair or another to trade. But my past experience showed me that uh, to be lucky, to be in profit, to be prosperous, you need to trade as much as uh, currencies you can trade uh, profitably, uh, you can. So that's why I used uh, the moment uh, to trade 11 of them. And I advise you, if you follow me, to trade all of them. And that's of course depending on your uh, ability of your account to cover all the instruments. Sometimes, uh, in my analysis, I also will cover some other financial instruments, like uh, maybe some uh, blue chip stocks, um, not uh, just uh, in the... Mm, yeah, American foreign uh, American stock uh, exchange, but also between the Russian companies. Also, I will cover sometimes the gold, the price of copper, um, as well as the Brent. Um, sometimes I even uh, now I started to make a kind of technical research in the Bitcoin as well. So that's depending. Uh, maybe some later I will include the Bitcoin. Uh, technical research in my analysis the time will show now to be uh, to be brief 
for those uh, one wanting to see my PL for 2016 this is my analysis from today excuse me yes this is uh, the results it, uh, it was slightly better slightly better than in 2017 so here I have 53 53 pips so it's um, around uh, let's say uh, 53 big figures uh, this year 20 uh, I mean last year it was a little bit less profitable around 40 uh, big pairs maybe not uh, super kind of uh, results but uh, my primary goal to be uh, profitable for a certain period of time you know how risky our business is so I'd like to be uh, as safe as possible as safest as possible in trading different pairs okay and for the future I will try to come and to be with you early in the morning in the European session trying to cover uh, the European kind of session and uh, maybe I will also come uh, with my ideas at the pre-market United States pre-market uh, that's uh, of course uh, will depend on the uh, your desires so if you have any questions once again uh, don't hesitate to ask me them so regarding today's uh, foreign exchange analysis as I told you I cover 11 instruments here you can see 12 of them but uh, at the moment I, I, I'm not covering the dollar ruble uh, kind of pair but what about all others as I think major currencies like euro dollar dollar yen cable dollar Swiss Australia Kiwi dollar Canada and some major uh, crosses like euro yen euro sterling euro Swiss I will cover you will you can find them in my list of researches so for today there is a kind of brief uh, uh, brief uh, foreign exchange research where you can see the resistance and support between the pairs also my positions and strategy uh, regarding the euro dollar for example I'm uh, I was uh, uh, long small at 11970 which were closed yesterday 2280 at the targeted level and now I am expect a pullback in the euro dollar um, pullback closer to the broken level of the highs of 2017 I will show you now uh, let's see the euro dollar graph Okay, so euro dollar today you see in the morning after the news that the SPD rejects proposal of the Turkey uh, to form a coalition government in Germany. Uh, the euro was uh, sold off to the level of sold off to the level of uh, 2215, but we expect a little bit larger pullback closer to the level of 12090 to follow the current uptrend in the currency which we saw starting from 11th of January the euro is a strong uptrend so at the moment to be as possible safe in uh, the currency we expect a larger pullback to the broken level of 12090 we'll start to buy the currency below 21 10 uh, 22 10 uh, 20 2120 excuse me and uh, with a stop below the 2090 so you can see this in our analysis so we we are ready to start buying the currency already excuse me I made some uh, changes uh, some later uh, we are already ready to buy the currency at 2190 to add a 2120 with the stop below 29 the targeted level will be 12550 to, to be uh, anyway to be a little bit a longer term viewing uh, in the currency i will show you that euro dollar at the moment from the one kind of part you will see there is a 
and we need to so weak chart. See, there is a longer term downtrend in the currency, which intersects and which lies today approximately around 127, but to be to be um, correct, uh, around 26.90. And at the moment, we um, consider this kind of level as a uh, let's say medium term target level of the current uptrend in the currency so while we are above short -term uptrend in the currency the uptrend that started in uh, in uh, by the way in January yes not oh, excuse me this is a kind of a longer term one in uh, in November the last one while we are above, let's say, 118.70, the euro should flow to the upside. Next currency is dollar-yen. Dollar-yen, where we also expect we were short in the currency some later. And we were close to target level 110.90 for those uh, looking uh, our, our research uh, before. Uh, but at the moment we prefer to wait for the pullback to the broken level of 112 and uh, we will be selling the currency starting from 111.85 with a very close stop loss of about 112.15 okay and uh, you see that uh, at the moment the currency is also is a kind of a very interesting bear move because we are uh, Moving average 200 daily line 11170, and while we are below a longer term um, descending trend line, which intersects today around 11390, we prefer to see dollar and lower. Probably some later in uh, 2018, we see even uh, the retesting of this. <clears throat> a longer term uptrend line around 105.40. So once again, we are selling small position in dollar yen. By the way, where, what is our small position? Small position is a half of a standard one. If we indicate in our report that we are use large position, is a double of a standard one. So to be safest as possible we prefer to enter the market by small po small position sometimes add it to them making it a, at an average uh, making uh, them an average one but if we see really kind of strong um, uh, kind of market and we have a strong opinion regarding it we use uh, we try to enter the market with a large position which for sure you will see some later during the 2018 Okay, and next uh, currency is uh, cable. Here, cable, you see the cable is rather strong at the moment, like other majors. So uh, here in the cable, you see how strong it is. We expect a kind of pullback closer to 26, uh, 36, 20 to enter the market. And even this morning, we change some uh, of our analysis and you see that we are ready at the moment start buying the currency at 3680 adding at 3620 with the stop below 3585 here you can see our resistances and supports in the currency the target, is, uh, the target at the moment is 13890 the target of uh, approximately uh, psychological level 140 you can see this target from uh, daily kind of chart. This level, which is coincides with the lows of uh, 2016, the middle of 2016, and uh, which coincides at the moment with the psychological level of 140, um, it seems to us, taking into account the current bullishness in the currency, is a kind of a very reasonable target level in the currency. So we prefer to enter the market 
to enter the long in the cable on any pullbacks uh, below from here, trying to follow the suit and to see some later uh, testing of this 140 level. Next currency pair is dollar Swiss. Uh, we were lucky to be short, but we already closed our position and now expect a kind of a pullback closer to 97.30, adding at 97.95 with a stop above 98.50. Why so? Let's see the chart of dollar Swiss. Yes, uh, you see how steep is uh, this kind of uh, downtrend in the currency. But while we are below uh, moving average daily line at 97.67, we expect sooner or later the pair will uh, test lower levels, probably probably closer to the lows um, of the middle of 2017 around 9440 So here as well we expect a kind of uh, pullback to the upside to enter the market um, at higher levels. Australia dollar. We are long small when the pair broke above 79. 79, what is this? 79 in the currency, you see. 79, it's, uh, it was a kind of short term downtrend. Uh, which, uh, when uh, was broken, we decided to follow the suit and buy the currency. So we bought it on the break of 79 and now expect it higher. Sooner or later, we expect a retest of the highs of 2017 of above 0.81 the figure. And once again, a kind of this kind of weakness of the dollar we have at the moment, uh, uh, taking into account the pricing of all the positive factors of the United States economy, uh, tax cut uh, code uh, approved uh, by um, United States uh, Senate, finally, let's say so, uh, the policy of the Federal Reserve uh, to increase their benchmark interest rates we are thinking that all of these kind of stories are already factored in in the stronger dollar. So taking into account the normalization of the monetary policies by other central banks, the dollar have some more room to, be, uh, to go down. And from this point of view also the Aussie dollar, despite of all the factors, have some uh, potential to go uh, larger to the upside. The Kiwi dollar. Also, we are looking here to buy on a dip to 0.7210, added 0.7150 with this stop below 7130. We will look at the chart of the Kiwi dollar. The Kiwi dollar is. Uh, on the strong uptrend when uh, the short-term downtrend was broken around uh, 71, uh, 80, 90 and now the pay is above its moving average uh, uh, daily line of 71, 14 on the strong uptrend and we see that sooner or later the highs of 2017 will be tested. So here we look at the 4 hour chart, we prefer to buy the currency on any dips 
below with the stop below that level which coincide with the lows of August 2017 and with with this kind of top kind of top formation very short term lead yes anyway we are ready to buy on a dip below and also you see we draw on a kind of uptrend in the currency so any pullbacks closer to 72 level should be bought in the currency to follow the suit to the upside the loony next one the loony loony we we are already short at average price 125 we sold the currency two times making uh, a kind of average of 125 and now we prefer to wait for the for a small kind of profit in the currency if uh, the level of 123 40 50 which we consider as a kind of strong support will be tested again we are ready to cut the we are ready to cut the position if we see if we analyze a kind of uh, chart in the Canada you see that while we are below this broken support barrier at 2620 we prefer to see uh, the pair down from here to say, to say the truth a moving average daily line is much higher and while we are below the this kind of multiple top formation around 22 uh, around 2920 which were formed in the end of uh, starting from October 2017 and we tested again in December 2017 this kind of multiple top formation we are uh, when we uh, while we are below 2920 we prefer to see uh, the loony um, continuing its major bear trend in the current zone so sooner or later the lows of 20 um, 17 of 12061 will be tested again after that the crosses to be brief you can see already here unlucky we were short in the euro yen uh, expecting um, at the yen uh, will uh, continue its strong upsage but uh, unfortunately the pair stopped it the pair stopped its uh, up move uh, yesterday and um, because of the higher euro dollar euro yen went much higher from here and now are ready to retest the highs of 2018 and um, of course uh, this uh, this currency pair is on uh, the strong uptrend and now when we stop it out we are ready to buy the currency on a dip at, uh, to 133.10 with a stop below 132.80, initially expecting 136.60. In the Euro Swiss, like in the Euro Yen, we are expecting to pull back to 116.90 to start buying the currency, I think, at 116 with a stop at 115.40. For those uh, interested in this uh, kind of currency, why the stop is 115.40 and why the target is around 119.20 very simple here what is 120? 120 is a former SMB's floor which were defended during the 2013-14 you remember when this uh, floor was broken with the huge consequences of a huge drop in all the Swiss franc crosses but uh, at the moment we prefer to buy it uh, to buy the currency starting from here around 116.85 uh, below 16.90 we are ready to add for, on a possibility test of a rather strong support around 116 the figure and we are ready to put a stop below ten, uh, below 115.40 which is the law of November 2017 and by the way 
you see this uh, the highs of August 2017 that's all about this currency and uh, euro uh, yen euro sterling euro sterling uh, let's say to say the truth is nowhere at the moment as we uh, suggest uh, why so uh, to say the truth we're expecting the euro crosses higher uh, during the year of 2018 uh, also we expect the euro sterling higher from here uh, while the pair is uh, above uh, the support zone <coughs> formed by uh, multiple lows around 87.60 and the last lows last dip in December to 86.90 but at the same time to follow the suit and to go higher from here the pair should broke above the psychological level of open 90 and multiple top formation formed around this kind of level it's it start from uh, this kind of uh, the highs of 89.80 till the highs of uh, October around uh, the remember uh, yes 0.9033 while we are below at that level but above the principal support wait uh, 8730 86.90 we prefer to see to consider this kind of uh, pair rather neutral anyway we prefer to that's why in our analysis you can find that we are ready to sell on a possible retest of 0.90 and, and but at the same time we are ready to buy it on a possible dip closer to the support barrier um, support barrier uh, as I mentioned above and the last currency is uh, rather risky kind of uh, rather risky kind of kind of the pair is euro ruble Russian ruble here as well we expect uh, this currency pair much higher from here of course, at the moment, the ruble is uh, very well supported by higher um, oil prices. But if we see the brand, we consider the current levels around 70 as a very interesting level, as a very um, a good level to sell the currency. That uh, level coincides uh, with the highs of May 2016 or excuse me 2015 around uh, around 70 dollar per barrel we see only very limited upside potential in the currency at the moment with the following to the downside from here and if we are right and the brand will go down I think that ruble will react immediately by following weakness and from this point of view taking into account that the euro dollar should go higher in 2018 our longer term analysis points to the much higher euro ruble uh, comparing to local levels that's enough for today thank you very much that uh, you were with me see you later then bye bye